Well, there hasn't been another storm, but there was the opposite. It has been warm. And so what we have is things melted, and then at night it freezes. You can see where Mike's shoveling over there. We have inches of ice to get off our driveway. And when you walk, let me see if I can show you. It's just all bumpy and icy. And so, hey Mike! Mike, are you happy to uh, have young men here at home? Yeah. Are you? <laughs> what are we going to do when we're 80 and we have to take care of this place? We're going to get this thing so it's got a good slope on it. So when it melts, it runs off instead of cooling like this. Because it all just comes. We've got mountains and our yard kind of slopes this way, doesn't it? It does. It's and like then the day. driveway slopes down this way. We're not going to let it build up. Okay. This year I thought that we could just let it gather and just be a snow cover on it. I didn't anticipate having a few thaws that turned the whole thing into ice. <laughs> so we will uh, really keep after the snow this next year. Ah, uh, keep after the snow. <laughs> after every turkey meal and chicken meal comes broth making. So this has simmered for hours and hours. And it's not at half. But it's come down significantly. It was clear up to the rim when I started it. And I'm going to go ahead and stream out, skim out the bones and veggies and try and cool it down and get the fat off the top and then can it. When we first did our first batch of broth, Krista was here and she said it seemed like a lot of work. But it's been so nice to know exactly what's in it and to turn what would be thrown away into something we can really use. I wanted to hear if you could hear the popping, but I think it stopped.